Hey everybody, Ross Skorzewski coming to you live from the set of the Dr. Patrick Flynn Show. Really excited for today's episode and also once again joining me is the one and only Dr. Patrick Flynn. We're excited about answering your questions, giving you some awesome information so that you can get informed and also have great conversations with all the naysayers in your life. So here we go, Doc. Talk to me. What's going on in your world? How was that? <laughs> <laughs> Lots going on. It's stuff. great stuff we got today. Um, uh, you love. had a great weekend, though, I hear. Something about some golfing and some oh, yeah. really we had, amazing individuals. We had, we had individuals. opportunity to actually spend some time uh, golfing with some of the LPGA Tour people. That's awesome. Of that. It was fantastic. And there was some, um, it was here in town that way. And it's amazing because people say, Doc, you know, you like the LPGA Tour more, sometimes more than you like the PGA Tour. Yeah, because the basis of, of my care that I take with is sick women. Yes, you say, and so it's absolutely. actually, and you'd be surprised how these women, for example, um, and I was hearing stories from these ladies to where they said, they said, listen, some of the ladies have to uh, leave some of the tournaments or sometimes don't perform as well because they'll get their cycle during a tournament and they're just devastatedly sick. Yes. They're throwing up. Mm -hmm. They're cramping like crazy. I'm like, and these are top athletes. Yes. You say, refined machines. Yeah, but don't, don't confuse fitness and health. Yes. You say, because there's a lot of fit people sick as a dog. Absolutely. So we want to thank you guys for coming in and joining us every week. Once again, continue to join us. Help us by liking this episode. Continue to share. Go down and find the little thumbs up or the heart or even whatever icon it is that you want to sit and tag. If you don't like what we're saying, then get the angry one. But hit yeah. it and share it and like what it is that we're putting out there. Once again, also send us your questions. We're going through them and we're setting up each episode to succeed by giving you the answer, hopefully, that you're looking for. So Send them to ask Dr. Patrick at TWWclinics.com. Did, did I share some of the, I, I, you know what the sad part is this? Some of the things we can't even share because, um, I mean, I share, it's right. just you and I discussing stuff that way, is thank you for all the emails that constantly come yes. in. Holy macro. They're all over the it's, place. I'm, cause I'm sometimes, uh, I don't want to say the word overwhelmed, but I'm actually you know overwhelmed with a great emotion to say, I want to say thank you guys for, for at the questions. Now, I will tell you this yes. though. I, I promise you this. Even if I'm, we get 600 emails, we will respond back to you. Do you say it? Takes some time. I'm not saying tomorrow, but, <laughs> but we really respond back to you because right. we have such a. Um, some of these questions are just mind blowing that way, yes. and and it, it, it kind of scares me a little bit because what I'm noticing is there's, and that's a big thing with some of these fallacies. We're going to talk about a big fallacy today, and there's more sick people, more more devastation out there ever in history, and and people are just searching yes. and searching. So yes. please do me a favor, share the shows. It's Absolutely. important and stuff of like that. So. Now, if you were to see somebody that were to actually write in and they're going through something serious, mm -hmm. it's not like we're going to wait for an episode <coughs> to address it. Matter of fact, I believe that you or even possibly one of the officers that were closely to them would probably engage them in a conversation and help address oh, right that away. issue right away. Right away, because uh, actually even one of the questions that uh, we got from this lady uh, that we're going to go through today, yep. um, I reached out immediately that way because uh, they want to take out our ovaries. Yeah, let's not wait six months to address this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? They want to they take out our ovaries. I'm like, come on. You know, it's ridiculous. So then we reach out right away and actually try to try to intervene in that process that way. So, Absolutely. so where are we starting? Well, why don't we do this real quick here? We just want to acknowledge some people. I think it's great that you guys are here. So why don't we take a moment? I just want to say hi to Christy Flynn, who's watching Your Beautiful Bride, Jay Wonkin in our Cottage Grove office, yes. and Dr. Ryan Gunyan. How's it going, my man? And uh, Kay Lockhart. Hey, everybody, good afternoon. So why don't we go ahead and just dive right into this because I know that you have a lot to say about these two emails. You ready? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Here we go. Number one, now people track along with this because I know that you either know people or even personally can identify with a lot of these emails and way that they are writing and looking for information. So here we go. I was born with a genetic condition, diagnosed at age 12. I've been a wellness way patient now for five months, and I'm still having a hard time wrapping my brain around the idea that genetics are expressed by their environment. I've been around the medical field for so many years and believe my genetics really were the cause or to blame. Can you please elaborate and explain? I mean, this is huge. It's my genetics. <laughs> I've been told it's genetics okay, now. So let's start with the most extreme and then we'll work our way backwards. Any doctor, when you're suffering with something, tells you it's your genetics, run. 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 You know why? Because it's his excuse that he doesn't know anything. Right. It is. Because if I can convince you to ge your genetic issue that way, what now it means is this. You have no control over anything. 
and therefore the only magical person that can show up in your life is this doctor that just can control your <laughs> manipulate your genetics. <laughs> or God. That's the stupidity of it that yes. way. Yes, oh, I know. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so let's start there because the idea is the fact that, listen, I'm going to step back and let's do this, guys. So let's ask some basic questions that you can ask your doctor, okay? And, whoa, 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 whoa. You just said something there real quick. I don't mean to interrupt you, but you mean you're actually telling us to ask our doctors questions yeah. and grill them? They grill them. Do you understand? Because when you actually start asking doctors, if they can't give you an answer that actually, you know, it, that is viable and makes sense that way, run. Right, run. Do you understand? Yep. Because the idea is this. They're just, they're just... They're full of crap. <laughs> Do you Sometimes stand? you just have to hear it that way. It's true. Yeah. And see, what happens is I'm like this girl at the ovaries that way. I'm like, that doctor's an idiot. He needs to shut his pile. Shut his pile. Because the idea is the best advice to add is rip it ovaries. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's start here. So I got some basic physiological questions that will understand and appeal to everybody. Away, but you'll struggle because you said, my doctor said this. Remember when people tell me, my doctor said this? I'm like, who cares? Your doctor doesn't know it. Your doctor knows very little. Actually, the funny part is this. I want you to think about this. And this is offensive to a lot of doctors when I say this. Do you understand that most drugs within 10 years are off the market? Yes. Or have changed dramatically chemically? Become obsolete. So if your doctor's been practicing for 20 years, he never learned about those medications in school. You know where you learned it from? Pharmaceutical company? The pharmaceutical rep. rep. There you go. That comes in in her mini skirt, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and her tank top. I know, I love this. I, our, our staff guys are laughing, going, oh, you get something. You think I'm joking? It's true. It is. They, 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 they send these blonde bombshells with fake boobs, you know what I'm saying, in pens. You know what I'm saying? And what happens is a mini skirt, and he says, listen, here's our drug. This was a do. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not a joke. We all know about this, and we laugh about this, but it's true. Remember, the show is not about making you feel good or trying to That's say, right. Doc, you shouldn't say that. Screw that. Happen. I'm going to say anything I want. You don't like it, don't, don't watch. watch. You know what I'm saying? But the idea is this is all of a sudden they come in and they the doctor, the drug company tells the doctor what it does. Your doctor is nothing more than a middleman drug pusher. But it's legal. Do you see what I'm saying? You have somebody who grows weed in their backyard, guess what happens? They're going to jail for five years. <gasps> now you're proposing that we should all potentially be pro You got you damn well be pro marijuana, marijuana and just don't smoke it. Okay, cannabis seminar July twenty fifth. Okay, right. but anyways, we'll tell you more about here. it. <laughs> so here's one thing, I got a basic question for any doctor. Ask your doctor this, and let's even talk about anybody here. Anybody here listening right now, answer this question when I ask it to you. Are you genetically programmed for your normal brain function or abnormal brain function? You can answer. Normal. Are you genetically programmed for normal GI function or abnormal GI function? Normal. Normal lung function or abnormal lung function? Normal. See, the genetic response, and that's the key thing, your genes, for example, respond to its environment. So therefore, here's what happens. If I take a sip of gasoline, genetically, my body's going to say, get this out of me. Yep. I'm going to get a fever. I'm going to get diarrhea. I'm going to actually probably Nausea. throw up. Yep. It's a wonderful genetic response because it's actually doing what? It's trying to keep my body to a normal homeostatic eliminating the physiologic toxin. response. It's yep. eliminating the junk. Yep. Do you see the sand? And see, so people say, well, doc, you know what happens is I, it's genetic, so therefore I can't change it. Actually, it's not true. Okay? A gen genes are a blueprint. It's a massive blueprint that way. And so the idea is this. And your blueprint is made to respond normally. Yes. And so now, therefore, is this. But your genes will respond to what you do to it that way. If you put a Coca-Cola into your system and a salad, guess what happens? You're going to get a better gen genetic response from that salad. But see, don't blame your genes. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you're not genetically programmed for sickness. Your doctor has told you this. If your doctor says you have heart disease because your grandma did, he's an idiot. Run, 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 run. And their main objective at that point is to put you on some form some medication. of medication. And they'll speak and they'll say, look at your family history. Yeah, your grandma and your grandpa and your mom and dad had just as crappy habits as you did. Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, here's what happens. I got a question for you. If we look at all the conditions over the last, you know, um, 50 years, they've all gotten 10 times worse. So are, are genes just getting worse? Our genetic code hasn't changed in thousands of years. Do you see what I'm saying? And the funny part is this, if you think genes control you, you're living in a fantasy world. Do you know what I'm saying? Because here's what happens. They've done massive studies. All you have to do is disprove it once and it's wrong. Let me prove it to you. They've actually had study this with psychiatric patients to where their personality shift and their eye color changed. Wow. Which is a genetic inheritance. Really? They watched it. They watched it change. They saw that when they were uh, different personalities, their eye color changed. Think about that. It altered their genetic response that way, based on their environment. And the environment is this, and think about this, guys. 
think about this as a as a pond, okay? And you have a river in and a river out. That's right. Do you see what I'm saying? What goes downstream and what pools in that environment is what's going in there that way. So if there's a ton of mental stress, your genes will respond. You know what I'm saying? But it responds everything to survive. Let me give you a perfect example, okay? So we're going to take Ross in January here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, <laughs> where it's a little bit chilly. It was cold and outside. We're going to, we're going to take Ross and we're going to strip him down butt naked. That's okay? not. <laughs> and we're gonna, like I was. We're going to throw him outside, <laughs> okay? Now, here's the cool thing is this, and this is the premise to where all practitioners actually make the biggest mistake, and it's why they can't figure out conditions. And here it is. Your body does not make mistakes. You do. Your body responds to everything you do to it. Do you see what I'm saying? So if I throw you outside butt naked in January, guess what happens? His body is going to genetically respond. And it's going to pull all of its blood to its core. Yes. Okay. To protect the vital organs. That's right. Yes. Because what's more important, your toe or your heart? <laughs> and your body does everything to survive. Yes. Everything. Yeah. The genes will do everything it can, your genetic program, to survive every stressful situation, even if it's harmful. Because you can even, if you stay out there long enough, you lose your fingers and toes. Yes. But I'd rather lose my toe than my kidney. Yep. Do you understand? And you say, Doc, that, that's stupid. No, it's not. You put the body, you actually put the input in, is sitting your butt out in freezing cold, and it's got to do it to survive. So you constantly bombard your body with massive stressful things, vaccines. You want to talk about... Duh, a va you want to talk about a genetic response? Absolutely. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, I always, I always kind of giggle this because you have these idiots that talk about that autism is genetic. Okay, why is it that autism is actually a side effect on the vaccine um, um, sheets if it's a if it's genetic? Honestly, You're ask these the pot, questions. God. You're stirring the pot. Ah, no, that's uh -huh. right, stir a pot. No, no, no. We throw that freaking pot out. We start that's with a right. new start recipe. New that's okay? right. Okay. So, so this is the mindset of it that way. So if I can convince, I mean, a doctor can convince that that patient that's a genetic response, they now think they're out of control. See, it's the perfect cover up. Now you say, hold on, doc. You agree that autoimmune disorders, for example, that you've now turned on a gene and now it responds in a negative way. You're right. But what happens is this, you're not born that way, you triggered it. Now people say, Doc, but wait, there are some genetic disorders, let's take one like trisomy 21, Down syndrome. Yeah, but you understand that there is a genetic difference and you can even see it physically, but they can live very healthy lives. Yes. If the input in their body, don't believe me, patient yesterday, okay, young man in his 20s, okay, he was in yesterday for the appointment, okay, once again, he has a genetic change, okay. And what happens is his testosterone levels were 131, okay, 20 year old. And he was having some health conditions. They tried to blame it on his genes. Well, it's part of being Down syndrome. I'm like, really? I must have changed his gene pool over the last year because we just did redid his blood work. His liver cholesterol panel changed massively back to normal. His testosterone started to go back to what? Normal. But wait, because he has Down syndrome, he shouldn't be that way. Because they told him the reason why those things were off before he came here was it was genetic. No, it wasn't. I gave his genes what it needed for it to respond and properly. And to thrive. And yes. to thrive. Yes. Now, is, will he always have trisomy 21? Yes, he will. But if you give the input into that genetic pool what is good for it by to respond yes. properly, guess what happens? So I don't care if you have Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, ALS, any autoimmune disorder which they say is genetic, which I don't disagree with that process, but your gene is going to respond to what you're doing to it. So that's why when, uh, uh, here, if you've ever been told you have Hashimoto's, okay, or rheumatoid arthritis, okay, there's a lab markers that can show up positive and show that they're bad. They're all oh, genetic, you'll have this rest of your life. Uh-uh, because here's what happens. You will always have that response if you keep triggering it. Yes. And doctors in Green Bay, oh my goodness, a lot of them, for example, I just want to just gag, okay? Because what happens is this. They'll even find out that their lab is bad. They still know what to do with it. They'll say, you'll suffer this rest of your life. And if you stay with their thinking, you're right. And so, because they said, it's genetic. And it's really funny, because I can use an example. Our friend, Brenda, okay? Um, she wouldn't care if I said her name anyways. Hi, Brenda <laughs> D. okay? Hi. Okay, so Brenda went over to special, woman specialty care here in Green Bay, okay? Just created some enemies by using it that way. Their doctor... TPO antibody was skyrocket high. Skyrocket high. They said, it's genetic, you can't change it. And it's kind of cool. Took care of her, found out what was triggering her gene responses that way, started to remove those immune triggers that way, yes. and lo and behold, it went back to normal. So you know what my response was to her? 
my goodness, I changed your genetic pool. Yes. See how stupid that sounds? That's ridiculous. And what you're really doing is you're getting people to experience health, which is bringing the body back to normal, normal function. Normal. Yeah. That's it. You can't be normal if you're constantly bombarding your body with yes. negative stressors that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Ladies, if you're stressing out mentally, you will throw your whole genes off like crazy. They're going to respond for you to survive. Don't believe yes. me? Ross naked outside is no different <laughs> than you stressing out <laughs> mentally. You eating something bad is no different. So just think of this, ladies, going forward. Anytime you're stressing out, just think about him naked outside. Wow, that <laughs> ought to bring a smile to your face. Yeah, that's right. For example, the fact what it does, it puts your body in that fight or flight. Yes. As, and it's a normal genetic response, but it's detrimental over time. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I love you it. You can't keep your butt outside naked for next month. You will die. That's right. Do you understand that if your body couldn't adapt to that stress, you would die instantaneously? See, so your genes do everything to keep you normal. I love but this. Doc, I, I developed cancer. Doc, I developed Hashimoto's. Yeah, if you wouldn't have developed that, you would have died instantaneously. Yes. It's a different concept. Guys, listen to this. Your body doesn't make mistakes. So if, you're di if, you're, if your chiropractor, if your medical doctor, if your functional medicine doctor says you have dysfunction, he's already clueless. Dysfunction means the body made a mistake. It doesn't make mistakes. It just reacts. Saying? It reacts to its environment. Yes. That's basic physiology. If I give you gasoline to drink, you're not sick because you threw up, you got a fever, and actually yes. you got diarrhea. Your body says, I'm going to do, here, here, think about this, guys. Oh, I want to punch these I guys in the this. face. I'm an, angry, <laughs> I'm an angry elf today, okay? You could say it one more time. Oh, man. He's an angry elf. No, but here's what happens. I Think about this, guys. So a person goes for chemotherapy, which is basically poisonous mustard gas, Okay. And we have to deal with cancer people all the time. Yes, we do. Now, here's the, here's the insanity of this BS, okay? Chemotherapy, for example, when administered, for example, the person administered it, if they don't have cover now, they could burn them. They put it into you, and then what happens is your body being smart and responds to puke it up. Yes. What's the first thing they give them? Nausea medication. Nausea medication. Yes. Let's just keep the poisons in. Your body's genetically responding properly. Expel. Get it out. Yeah, and then these people are like, all of a sudden they're like, you know, I got, I got I, I to gotta take the antimosia because I feel like hell. Guys, listen. You feel like hell because your body says, listen, this doesn't belong here. Yes. You say it? This is not natural. It's not natural. Okay? I got to tell people, show me any instant in your life where throwing up is bad ever. It feels like hell. Sure you feel, if you had to think of it this way, nausea and throwing up, it's probably one of the worst feelings in the world. You know what I'm saying? But really, honestly, you throw up for a purpose. That's right. Your body knows exactly what it's doing. That's why a lot of times people actually say when they actually, after they throw up, they feel what? Better. better. That's right. <laughs> That's you know what I'm saying? People say it all the time. So, guys, it's a concept. So, when you have that concept, and that's why when we test people, okay, so go to any of the wellness ways cross country. And our motto. We don't guess, we test. So, what happens is we're not sitting there saying, here's your genetic disease, therefore you have Hashimoto's, therefore you're screwed the rest of your life. We're going, if your gene is responding and it's causing destructive patterns, you're triggering it. You're turning on the light switch. It's your fault. It's not grandma's fault. It's not mom's fault. The only fault you can give them is when grandma says something really stupid. I'm going to tell you right now that grandma says some of the stupidest things on the planet because she'll say this. Everything's okay in moderation. No, it's not. <laughs> Your body doesn't know moderation. Your body knows is it good or, or is, is it, it bad. bad? Yep. And your genes will respond to the bad. Yep. But it also responds to the good because the, gene, the genes process is to move you in a normal balanced homeostatic process yes. that way. And that's when people start to say, man, I feel really good to right. little James Brown. Ah, <laughs> yeah, they're feeling good. They're feeling good because yes. they're working with their body. Absolutely. Our culture today thinks it's okay to go through McDonald's and grab a, 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 a you know, breakfast sandwich. Because it's quick. And it's easy. guess what happens? Your body will respond to it genetically. Yep. There's so many things bad in there. Your body says, I got to do what I got to do. But it tastes good. Sure. There's, well, there's so chemicals. whatever, yeah, it's in it. That's telling your mind that it tastes good. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. There's chemicals in there that tell your mind it tastes good that way. It's disgusting. <laughs> you saying? But the idea is this. And so they keep on doing these bad things, and then they they're, they're wonder why they're sick. Yes. And it's like it's my genes. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's your genes doing its job to protect you so yes. you don't die. Listen to them. That's right. So. The definition of insanity, Doc, is what? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting to get a different result. A different result. But our doctors have this, this idiotic process of saying, come to me. 
I'm going to do gene therapy on you. I'm going to give this chemical to alter you. Do you understand? Your body has to genetically respond to that toxin. You understand? Every drug is a toxin. It is. Who said so? That's why they're called drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And so it's, it's just frustrating because this process of people thinking that you're genetically programmed for one thing. So if there's one thing you can learn from a show, okay, besides getting Ross naked out of your head, okay? <laughs> <is> <laughs> Which this, I hope you do rather quickly. Is number one, your body is programmed for health. Yes. Anybody that teaches you different, they have no clue what to talk about, run. Run. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's the biggest thing because why would you want to be taken care of by somebody that has no concept of how the human body works? It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? You know, so then I don't have to wor worry about how the body works if you break your arm. Good. Get some drugs and surgery, fix your arm, you're good. You know what I'm saying? But still, the body's going to do everything it can genetically to get as normal as possible that yep. way. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between emergency medicine and true health care that you know, way. You know, that's interesting. Even just with a quick, simple break of a bone, what does the body go into a lot of times that protects the individual? Goes into fight or flight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It does it's... everything to protect and survive. Yes. So, yeah, so that's it. a big concept that we have to get with it. Now, once again, so if you do now been tested and you now show that your gene is responding some way, find out what triggers it. Right. Find out. That's what the whole term. Go upstream. It's called epigenetic. Yeah. You're going above the gene to see what is it doing when it actually DNA is triggered that way and stuff. So it's a good thing. And that's why you have to have a proper doctor. That's why wellness made doctors are so special. Yes. They are. They are. They you really understand? It's really cool because I am. I just before this, you know, a guy wrote an amazing testimony on our on their Wellsway website. Yes, see what I'm saying? And all Dr. Greg did with him is guide him to the path to understand this is the way his body's got to be. Let's test you properly. Yes, and not test you from the point the way doctors do that way. And it's not kind of funny. I have to give my mother a little plug here because it was neat because uh, um, um, it's really hilarious because I think this is kind of funny because I got to tell this and I, my mom's probably gonna kill me. <laughs> But it's really hilarious because but it's your show. Yes, yeah, my show. <laughs> and don't worry, I, I control what she does in the nursing home or anything. So no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, that was me. Yeah, it's like she's gonna oh, laugh. Oh my god. No, my mom's young. It's my mom's only twenty years older than I am. She's only sixty-two years old. Okay, and and so it's kind of cool with this. But I just yesterday, because I just like my wife, just like my girls, my mom's hormone test came back. And so what happens is, and I looked at her lab, and no joke. Next week we'll bring it out here. Every hormone was actually great on my mom. Every hormone. Think about this. Every hormone. It's kind of funny because when she went through menopause that way, it was very easy for me to bring her through that transition. Why? Because we kept things balanced through the process that way. And it's really funny. There was only one hormone bad on her. On her. Was it the Dr. Patrick Flynn hormone? <laughs> yeah, the stress hormone. Yes. I'm like, Mom, you're stressing out too much. No joke. And the cool thing is because we know how to support her body and keep things balanced, even though some stress has been there that way, what happens is we still kept her hormones normal. And that's why people go, Mom, your mom's vibrant. She's it. No, she's not. She's normal. She's genetically programmed for normal. You're not genetically programmed for depression. I don't care if your grandma and your mom had depression. You have depression because why? Because you've done the same stupid things as grandma yes. and mom have done. But see, it's like anything under normal has become everyday life. Acceptable. It's become business as usual, like you said, acceptable. So when people experience health, normal, that's like, ah. Oh, they have this huge light bulb experience as if this isn't supposed to be how it is every day. Yeah, true. And then that's why people, they, they, when you start taking care of them, getting their body back normal, they say, Doc, I've never felt so good in my life. I'm like, well, that's crappy because right. what you're feeling isn't good. You're feeling normal. Yes. You just felt crappy for so long. You didn't even know what normal was. Yeah. You're saying? And so it's kind of cool. So I was actually, uh, people always ask me this all the time. like, you take care of your mom and your menopause? I'm like, yeah, I'm the best one to take care of her. Yes. I want to take care of her. Do you see what I'm saying? Because... I know that, for example, when she shows up, I don't want do some idiot doctor saying, you need to be on an estrogen hormone, horse hormone patch for the rest of your life and get cancer. But if you get those hormones normal, my mom's 60 years old and she has perfect hormones better than a little teenager I actually uh, measured last week. That is awesome. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And her labs. Oh, no, but it's age. No, it's not. This teenager was sick. My mom's got normal hormones. So let me ask you this real quick. That menopause phase in her life, was it hell or was it a, a decent experience? Menopause is a natural biological process. Who, who said so? Go on Mayo Clinic's website. It's a natural bi biological process. But a lot of women experience, I mean, it's one of the things that they dread. Yeah. Because they hear horrible and I love, stories I love, about it. Oh, my, my, mom had, my mom had a horrible menopause and my grandma did. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, because your grandma and mom didn't know how to take care of themselves. Yeah. They didn't, guys. And it's like, I love, I love using mom and grandma because I want to I want to tick you guys off. My mom's a good person. She can be a good person. She doesn't know anything about health. Your grandma's a good person. Moderation, she's still wrong. Do you see right. what I'm saying? And I said, people, don't, don't believe me. How are we doing for hormone health today? How are we doing for cancer? 
How are we doing for heart disease? It's all time freaking high. So he said that subject alone of genetics is we've programmed people. It's genetic and it gives people an excuse. And here's one thing that's really good. People. Yeah. Well, here's what happens. We all know this. There's some people, for example, love your genetic because they use it as a crutch for their emotional baggage. There you go. They define themselves. I have Hashimoto's. So it's the excuse for everything in their life. I'm sorry to say it, but there are people like that. For sure. Do you understand? And so when you start to tell them that you can do something about this and it's your stupidity sometimes that's doing this, they freak out. And they'll give me hate mail. Do you see what I'm saying? But Which I'm, we don't mind. Yeah. It comes. Actually, holy crap. Yeah, not a joke. I, In two weeks, I have a guy in hate mail. So please send us something. Yeah, send me something. We solicit your hate mail. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so it's kind of fun because what happens is this. Get the thinking. The thinking is wrong. Don't believe me? Go back to this. Stinking thinking. Stats are getting worse on health every single year. With more heart disease, more cancer, more fertility, more hormone problems ever in history. And so I said, you can disagree or say, but the same level of thinking has got in us into yes. that. So, And it is really sad because a lot of the testimonials that we've been capturing, uh, even from our patients, but even from one of our docs that we just had come on, is the, the same story. For the yep. last 15, 20, 30 years, I've not been able to get results. That's very sad. Yeah. I wish people would actually hop on this sooner in life. And that's what we're also trying to challenge this yep. paradigm, this, this new way of thinking and taking control back of your ability to bring healthier and happier well, living into your world. And I want to talk about this. A new way of thinking is just understand how the body works. Yes. No joke. It's not new. It's just that it recognizes the body works and not trying to manipulate it with medications and surgeries and things like that to actually get it to actually normalcy that way. Yes. You're saying it's like, it's not coincidence that my mom's hormones are normal. Do you say I'm? You're very it's not intentional about it. It's not coincidence that this teenager that we had last week, that her hormones were abnormal. It's not your age. It's not your genes. It's what you do. Yes. Remember, I know this makes a lot of people upset. If you're sick, the reason, one of the major reasons why you're sick is because you're ignorant. You didn't know what to do. And not just remember, you, he, he didn't just call you stupid. He said ignorant, which is a lack of information and knowledge. Just so, so you understand. He wasn't calling you stupid. Just no. clarify that. Because no. some people ignorant, like, oh, ignorant he just called me lack stupid. of information yes, that way. Yes, exactly. We don't even get to question two, do we? No. <laughs> no, but this is good, though, because this is a really huge issue, uh, the concept of genetics. Well, we, we got like 50 questions on genetics. Right. Because their doctors say it's genetic. And now they feel hopeless. Do you see what I'm saying? But when you understand that Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, uh, Every autoimmune disease, celiac, and things like that, once again, you trigger the gene, it's a bad day. You don't trigger the gene, your body will do what's supposed to be, which is normal. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, anything else we're going to get to today? Well, let's just do this real quick. You know, man, we just came off a super high. You had a great training session with your staff today. I know we yes. can wrap this up in two minutes. You know, we a couple of weeks ago talked about uh, the key to success. You answered that, then surrounding yourself with the right people. People. And then today, what you really did is you set it up for teamwork. Yes. And, uh, just real quick, what's the one thing that can kill teamwork? Selfishness. 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 Yeah. And, and to, to elaborate on that, guys, for a lot of people who don't know, I've always said this, you know, um, don't set goals, work on growth. I believe, for example, that if you grow as an individual and then you present yourself to a team and you guys grow as individuals as a team, that creates the best teamwork. You yes. understand? And then you can grow a company all over the country. You can grow... Actually, guys, pretty exciting news. We have foreign countries now calling to be wellness ways. Okay? That's right. It's pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because we're so damn handsome? Well, I like to believe that. And I begin <laughs> no, to believe it's true. Because of the message. And then what happens is, is you see, the cool thing is this. The wellness way has wonderful individuals, and we train on it. Yes. We just got done doing a training for a couple hours and stuff like that on personal development and growth and who you become, actually, for example, dictates what you do. Yes. See, if you think you're going to do something, become somebody, you've got it backwards. It's actually becoming the best person you possibly can. And then if you have a craft, guess what? Do you understand? Specialize in it. That's right. And so what it does, it really sets people up for success, guys. Business and personal. Actually, we should do this next week. We should. Business and personal are not separate. It's the same thing. Anybody that tells you in business and personal are separate, they have no clue about business and they will never reach a level of success and they'll never reach a group of team around them that will be willing to have their back in every situation. Yeah. So, 
You bet. Holy macro. I love Way it. Too we have 30 long. seconds. Hey, I want to do something real quick here. For any of you that are watching, I'm going to randomly pick two people that comment starting right now. Yes. And what we will do is follow up with you. But if you right now actually put in your name and where you are from, we have the book, The Metabolic, uh, Metabolic Syndrome, and we also have the thyroid book by Dr. Kelly. We want to get that into your hands ASAP. So put it in there right now and actually private message me your information, your address, and all that jazz, and we will get it out to you right away. And we're excited about next week. See you there.